And now, your WNCN weather forecast. Well, it's now Wednesday night, and this is the day in the evening that we have been saying we know a lot more about the implications of Tropical Storm America, and we do tonight. There are changes in the track, and we'll talk about those in a minute. But after some storms popped up earlier this evening, things have calmed down. A little bit of rain trying to pop up there in northern Granville County, north of I-85. Otherwise, we're dry. Still some clouds out there. Temperatures in the low 70s. And those storms, by the way, actually kind of packed a punch. Some heavy downpours, some winds kind of messing up some backyards, bringing down some tree limbs. We had some quarter-sized hail. This is the scene in southern in Wayne County and Mount Olive. Gabriella sent us these pictures. Again, things are all calm right now. And really, the rest of this week, we don't anticipate a lot of rain. But tomorrow, we will have some clouds as morning temperatures Thursday start off at 66 degrees as you head out the door to work and school. We jump up to 71 at 9, 79 at noon. And then some more sunshine as we get into the afternoon. Small rain chances again southeast of the Triangle down in Sampson and Wayne County again as we'll top out at 85 degrees another day with below normal temperatures. And it's another day where we still have that cold slash stationary front hanging on around our coastline. That's where the instability is, that's where the clouds, and that's where the rain has been popping up. Meanwhile, we got that high pressure just to our west. And it's a big change in our atmosphere, even though the front is just right there. I want to show you the dew point temperatures. Remember, I show you this, and anytime we're in the 70s, it's in the steamy zone, 60s feels good. We'll look down here in Wayne County and down around around Sampson County. Dew points down there around 70 closer to the front, but then you get away from that, things start to get a little more comfortable. And that's why the rain has been staying to the southeast. And that's why it'll stay there tomorrow. So the morning time, we start off Thursday with clouds, generally dry weather. And then keep an eye along the coast, because as we get into the afternoon, that's where a few showers will pop up. And again, it's just a 10% chance that a few of those will sneak into against Sampson and Wayne County. Otherwise, late tomorrow, those clouds start to back off and we've got some sunshine, decent amounts coming on Friday. Meanwhile, tonight, the latest on Tropical Storm Erica, it remains an unorganized system. But winds have held at 45 miles per hour. The thunderstorm activity has increased. But again, as you look at this, you know, that's the center right there, and there is nothing on the west side. It's a very uh, uneven storm. It's supposed to be symmetrical, but it's not because the upper level winds continue to work against it. Now, the latest computer models continue. A consensus is of moving it right on the northern part of the Caribbean. But then late in the game, when we're talking late in the weekend, early next week, they start to diverge. But tonight, for the second time in a row, that has also shifted a little to the right, which is not good for the East Coast. So they've got some wind shear to get past in the next 48 hours. If it survives that, no wind shear as we get into the weekend, and that's when it's going to strengthen. That's exactly what we've dictated here in the official track from the National Hurricane Center. This, too, has shifted a little tonight. So we could have a Category 1 hurricane off the east coast of Florida Monday, and that could then move up the coast and impact us. So we need to start thinking. This is not set in stone, but what's going on in your life next Tuesday and Wednesday? Could we have a hurricane? A lot of it depends on this area of high pressure several scenarios still, but a weak high pressure to a strong high pressure means a lot of different things. Weaker, it goes farther north. Stronger, it gets pushed farther south. We obviously would love it to get pushed farther south, but it's looking more and more like that might not happen. In the meantime, we've got some decent weather to enjoy. Mid-80s with low humidity. Overnight lows continue in the 60s Thursday and Friday and into Saturday. Then on Sunday, we warm it up a bit. We'll get some humidity back here next week. In fact, we're back to 90 next Tuesday, but a lot of our forecasts next week, in fact, probably all of it, depending on what happens with Erica, now we're watching it even closer than we have been the last 48 hours. All right.